Do you use the internet in the present? We're all connected to the internet. A global system of interconnected computer networks used to link devices worldwide. After the government rolled out MBN into our suburbs in the last couple of years, we all got chatting about the state of the internet in our country. Now it's predicted that all the copper wires put underground will be ripped up within the decade with technology changes. Is it really all it's cracked up to be? Our mate Lemming is with us today, as he will be every fortnight to discuss all things technology. This week we're talking about the state of the internet in Australia. This will be an interesting one to kick off with, won't it, Lemming? Good morning. <laughs> this, this, is, this is a good one to start on. It's, it's near and dear to my heart. Yes. So I, I've, I've done many things in and around the, uh, the NBN, and it, it's wonderful uh, problems and, and pluses and all those, those things about it uh, over the years. So how much of it is kind of just uh, the media kind of, you know, going, it's all horrible and people going on kind of social media and that saying it's all horrible? Look, or- I... I- is it, isn't it as bad as what they're kind of making out? Look, it, it is definitely an upgrade. There's, there's no, there's no argument that what we, what we are getting is an upgrade over what we had. I'm, okay. I'm not yep. arguing that point. What I would say though is that what we are getting is an absolute sham compared to what it should have been. Yes. You know, when, when the idea of the NBM was first announced, I, you know, I celebrated. You know, it was, it yeah. was a great thing, and, and it was going to. You know, I mean, as people have put it, it was equivalent to the Snowy Mountain scheme of, you know, this great big, you know, long-term building scheme that was going to set the country up for years to come. And then all of a sudden they've shot it in the foot. Mm. Yeah, and, and sort of, you know, I'm going, wh- why? Like, wh- where's where's the forethought? Where's the, the planning? So so is it just poor planning or are they just being a bit kind of tight with money or? Well, I, I, where I th- did it go wrong first off? I think where where it went wrong is people are looking at it as, as uh, well, one of the big things that people look at when they look at the NBN is they look at how much bandwidth people are using now and they go, well, we're only using this much bandwidth, so why are we you know, spending all this money to upgrade to you know three, four times that? But it's like building a road network. You don't mm. go and build a road network for the traffic you have now. You build it for the traffic you're going to have in 10 or 20 years. Yep. Um, and so you know, while people looked at the money and went, oh, well, that's too much money to spend, um, even with the current uh, setup that they're they're working on, the, the mixed technology model as they call it, mm-hmm. they're actually figuring out that it's going to cost just as much. Um, so the money is a non-issue, and so it really just comes down to politics more than anything. Is of of people going, well, no, no, we don't need that much bandwidth, and we're never going to need that much bandwidth. And, and saying we're never going to need that much bandwidth is sort of like saying, well, we'll never need to travel that fast. You know, yeah. it depends, depends on how far you want to go and what you want to do. So we've got a cul-de-sac more than a kind of yeah. autobahn. Yeah, <laughs> very much so. Back, back, back country road, I think. But, is yeah. <laughs> but surely back then they knew kind of, because now it's just going to get worse with kind of, you know, obviously there's Wi-Fi now, there's cloud, there's everything's going wireless. Everything's yes, kind of yes. up in the... In well, the air. So, so people, people look, that's one of the other arguments that people look at is they go, well, you know, you've got wireless, you know, like why, why can't we just make everything wireless? And it's, it's um, you know, a good, good argument against that is look at what happens on Christmas Day and on New Year's and on big occasions like mm-hmm. that. When everyone gets on the wireless networks, they die. Mm. Um, you know, and if you had everyone trying to get on the wireless network all the time from home, mm. you know, they, it would just kill them. But if you want to get into the the real nitty gritty of it, uh, one of the ones you've got to look at is when you when you're dealing with wireless traffic, you have absolute maximum about five gigahertz of usable bandwidth. Now there's a lot of math and and fun stuff going on in there, but that sort of denotes how much traffic you can have across there. Yeah. And that bandwidth is shared between all the people talking to that particular tower or whatever. When you have a fiber optic connection, which is what we're originally planning, you've got 140 terahertz of bandwidth. That's you know just a thousands of times more to deal with. And then on top of that, whatever technology that can be applied to wireless to make wireless faster can also actually be applied to the fibre optic as well. So it's sort of like if, if you built the infrastructure for the fibre optic, um, it would be, we'd be upgrading, up, upgrading it like we would with the wireless. And we can then also use that same technology as a backhaul for the wireless, which improves. So it kind of makes no <laughs> sense not to do that one. Because <laughs> I was listening, uh, it was the Nerdzilla um, podcast this week, and they were talking about how a major um, telco uh, managed to, they were advertising, they've had to refund a lot of people because they were advertising, right, you get this much data. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But what they didn't say is the fact that you're sharing it with everyone that's on that MBN Strip, oh, okay. so like your whole street. So at seven o'clock at night, when everyone's kind of you know 
Oh, Facebooking so the or speed, yeah, streaming yeah, the Netflix or something, speed, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, well, that's, see, that's another problem with the uh, the current model, and this is a, a little known one. Now, I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure of the veracity of this. This this is one that I've heard, but with the original plan that Labor were doing, um, so you have like the the equivalent of the node that everyone connects to on on a fibre system. Yep. And uh, they were going to run two 10 gigabit links to that, which is oodles of traffic, like more than yeah. we're ever going to need. You know, everyone can have 100 megabit, would be fine. And when they changed that to the fibre to the node plan, they've changed it from two 10 gigabit links to two 1 gigabit links. So you've got one tenth of the traffic for the same number of people. And so, yeah, that's why we're seeing all these congestion problems. On top of that, we're also seeing that because of the costing of the NBN at the moment with the uh, CVC, the circuit virtual chart. Uh, circuit never remember what it stands for. Um, but it's basically how much the uh, ISPs get charged for the bandwidth they use between the node and themselves, So, um, which is, at, by all accounts, too expensive at the moment. Absolutely. Well, we'll try to be positive when we come back after the break. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking uh, tech with Lemmingham and looking at internet speeds and uh, everything to do with MBN uh, on the segment this morning. And hello if you're um, uh, streaming as well on rtrfm.com. No, yep. yeah. More soon. <laughs> Indeed. It's uh, 16 past 8 here on Get Up Morning on RTRFM. We're talking tech with Lemming. And uh, we found something positive to mention yeah, after so all the, the gloom of the NBN. <laughs> after all the gloom and doom. Look, um, and, and this is you know the sort of thing that uh, um, is a wonderful application of, of high bandwidth internet. Um, this came out just before Christmas of uh, WA Telehealth. There was uh, one of the remote nurses um, who was out in, I'm trying to remember what town it was, uh, um, I can't remember the name of the town, but he was uh, um, uh, finishing up his shift and noticed that he felt a bit funny and, uh, you know, jumped onto the ECG and realised he was having a heart attack. And so was able to, because of the WA Telehealth, actually um, dial into one of the doctors back in Perth, get them to look at his heart uh, uh, details, yep. recommend what medications and things like that he needed to take, uh, and actually treat himself and stave off that heart attack until the ambulance was able to arrive and get him to a better facility. Uh, now, without the sort of high bandwidth like NBN, that sort of thing is not possible. But to make that thing, that sort of thing, really usable, we've got to roll it out everywhere. Yeah, and and that's where it's still we're still waiting on it a little bit. So, okay. Um, so go back to the sorry the, to NBN again, because a lot of um, places they they do advertise kind of oh we got faster internet speeds and yada yada, but it's it's still the same lines, isn't it? It's still yeah, pretty much. Uh, I mean, there, there there are a few little possibilities of um, depending on what area you're in, you might get fibre to the node. Yep. Um, which is where you have uh, like wherever they have the old uh, uh, Telstra torpedo sticking out of the ground, they rip that out of the ground and stick yep. a cabinet there. Yep. Um, or the new one is fibre to the curb, where they actually basically put it outside your house. Yep. Is that um, the one where they dig the big hole and kind of? I haven't actually seen the details of the installation of that. I just know I know roughly what they're doing on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I think because it's only just starting to be rolled out now. Um, then you've got some people who are in like areas that have cable. Uh, so if it's uh, as far as I understand it, with this with Telstra cable, they're actually reusing the Telstra network. But with the Optus cable network, they basically went, yeah, it's too degraded, and so they're actually th- ripping out the Optus cable network and replacing it with with new new cabling. Right. Um, I, th- I think for those ones, they're doing the fibre to the curb. Uh, so it depends a little bit on where you are as to what sort of connection you'll get, and yeah, then you've got the difference. But when it comes down to it, yeah, they're all they're all reselling the same product. So you know, if you buy a hundred megabit from one provider and you're only getting, you know, as as is the case at, at Artifactory, you're only getting seventy megabit. Just because you go and buy it from another provider doesn't mean you're going to get a higher speed. You're still going to get the same speed. Yeah. What you may get is you may get less congestion at peak hour, um, but even that's a crapshoot. So yeah. Okay, <laughs> so basically, uh, yeah. Well, so if this comes to your house, because I know up in Bassendine, mm-hmm. they they kind of dug the dug the hole and stuck it there, yep. and um, then you're just getting har- I wouldn't say harassed, but telco companies kind of going, hey, <laughs> you know, yeah, oh, that was, you know, just beating over the head. Well, have you got MBN now? But well, see, see, the big thing for them, and and you know, like uh, this is why I see people. I, I saw one recently of someone going, oh, I'm going to move away from Telstra, you know, on, onto Optus because you know, da da da, and I'm like, because they were getting bad service. Service quality, mm. and I'm like, you're on NBN. It doesn't matter who you move to; you're going to get the same service quality. Yeah, yep. um, You know, as, as I said, the only thing that can really change is the congestion. Yeah. Um, uh, but the 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 phone companies love this, even Telstra and Optus, because suddenly someone else is responsible for the network, and they don't have to deal with any of that side of things, which is kind of good um, because it does take them out of the picture, and and you know means that everyone should get the same service level. Yeah. But the problem is that we're still still dealing with the 
the Telstra, you know, copper that's in the ground that's been there in some cases for 50 years. Um, so, so should you should you get if you if MBN's been put out the front door, should you get it or should you just hold off and stay with what you've got for now and then? Look, I mean, you, you're going to have to get it anyway because yeah. you know they are going to switch off the old copper network. So it's like digital uh, TVs, basically. Yeah, and and once once they do actually switch off the old copper network, you should see some slight improvement in speed yeah. because you won't have you know um, uh, some comp- competition there for bandwidth. Yeah, but uh, um, yeah, I, I mean. I, if I moved to an area that had it, I would definitely get it. I'd, I wouldn't see a reason not to get it. Yep. Um, uh, just, you know, as I said, it's a shame. It's Yeah. <laughs> so we're just going to have to deal with, um, you know, doing online gaming, just getting thrashed by, you know, yeah, kids, yeah. In, kids oh, in America and all that. Yeah, or, or uh, as happened to me, like Chinese guy last night. So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, China as well, yeah. sorry. <laughs> so, so where do we rank again? As, like, how many countries are ahead of us? I think we're like 37th or something that crazy oh. now. We're, 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 if we're, and it's really funny because I speak to, uh, actually, amusingly enough, my landlord's from Romania, um, yeah. and he's just come back from Romania, and they've got like 100 megabit, you know, 100, 100 slash 100, yeah. you know, in the little tiny town that, you know, his home is in, in, in <laughs> Romania, you know, uh, and they're paying like, I think it's like 30 euros a month for it, you know, with no data <laughs> limit. And I was like, oh, I wish. <laughs> So what 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 do you predict for the future of um, the internet in Australia? So is it going to get slightly better? But um, is it going to be a, have to be a massive reefing? Like if a new government comes in or something, you know, and when there's a next election, could that well, government just go, all right, let's just? Well, the, the really tricky part there is because already all this infrastructure has already been built. Yeah. To actually go back now and to rebuild as a fibre to the premises network would basically require rebuilding it from scratch again. Okay. Um, so I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, that being said, there are some things like the uh, the links to the nodes that can be upgraded, and that will help the situation. Yep. So whether they'll do that. Um, also, there's some talk at the moment with the actual NBN Corporation, or, or NBN Co, as they call it, of uh, writing down some of the debt to NBN Co, which means NBN Co will be able to reduce their costs, which means the CVC cost can go down, mm-hmm. which means congestion should become less of a problem. So hopefully that will improve some things over the next you know one to two years. Just have to wait and see, really. Um, you know, I am quietly hopeful that there will be a change at the next election, just personally, and and you know that we might see some improvement on that. But uh, we really have to wait and see. There's there's nothing major on the horizon that I can see that's going to be you know sh- a shining beacon or anything. Mm, absolutely. Well, we can just smile and <laughs> yeah, be we, positive. Just just smile. And think <laughs> like positive. a lot of things yep. in the world at the moment, yep, yep. I guess. Oh, very much so. <laughs> Lemming, thank you very much for coming in for the first. Uh, we're talking about new tech stuff in a couple of weeks. Yep. Uh, also, while we're here, I'll just give a plug as well. Genghis Con's on this weekend mm-hmm. at uh, not at UWA, but next to UWA. So anyway, Google it, Facebook it, that kind of we'll stuff, do, we'll and do. get along. It's uh, normally a great weekend as well. Thanks for coming in, and we'll speak to you in a couple of weeks. All right. See you then.